for this child, I prayed. 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 27. Devout souls, delight to look upon those mercies that they have obtained in answer to prayer, for they can see God's special love in them. When we can name our blessings Samuel, that is, asked of God, they will be as dear to us as Hannah's child was to her. Peninnah had many children, but they came as common blessings unsought in prayer. Hannah's one heaven-given child was far more precious, because he was the fruit of earnest pleadings. How sweet was that water to Samson that he found at Enhakor, the well of him that prayed. Cups made of quasher wood, turn all waters bitter, but the cup of prayer puts a sweetness into the water it brings. Did we pray for the conversion of our children? How doubly sweet, when they are saved, to see in them our own petitions fulfilled. Better to rejoice over them as the fruit of our pleadings than as the fruit of our bodies. Have we sought the Lord for some special spiritual gift? When it comes to us, it will be wrapped up in the gold cloth of God's faithfulness and truth, and so will be doubly precious. Have we petitioned for success in the Lord's work? How joyful is the prosperity that comes flying upon the wings of prayer. It is always best to get blessings into our house in the legitimate way, by the door of prayer, then they are blessings indeed, and not temptations. Even when prayer does not receive answer quickly, the blessings grow all the richer for the delay. The child Jesus was all the more lovely in the eyes of Mary when she found him after having searched for him anxiously. That which we win by prayer we should dedicate to God, as Hannah dedicated Samuel. The gift came from heaven, let it go to heaven. Prayer brought it, gratitude sang over it, let devotion consecrate it. Here will be a special occasion for saying, for all things come from you, and of your own we have given you. Reader, let prayer be our habitation, and not our weariness.